that the Eurostar review. Now I'm going to put the train on the track and I'm just going to show you how fast this thing goes. It is like a bullet. Honestly, it goes really, really fast. And let's make a start. Let's put the dummy unit on. The perfect clothes to wear to try and put trains on the track. There we go, that's the dummy unit on. Really smooth. They should tilt like the Virgin Pendolino. Now this is quite because if we can just get a look in there, then there's like a little round thing where you can just clip this onto, if you can see that. Right, I'll just clip that on now. There we go. All we do is first bit on. Next bit on. And then we just have to lift it. It's not like tension lock couplings, it's something like um, just bar arrangements. Right, there we go. That's on. It's got some weight to it, so it makes a really good um, clip like this. It makes a really good clip to clap noise. We need to have some weight in some models to be allowed to do that. Right, this is the power car. That's on. Put that on. There we go. Let's get it running. Now, she's a very, very smooth runner indeed. I don't know what motor she uses in that poor chassis, in that poor design chassis in hers. But she is marvellous. She is a marvellous runner. The Dakota was quite dodgy when I first bought it because it accelerated to its maximum speed in five seconds. So I, I did get a lot of wheel spin, and it, you can still see it does shake a lot due to the traction tyres. But it doesn't bump like um, backwards and forwards. It just judders from side to side. It is going. Is that, is that the power car? Yeah, that's the power car. So that's power car going first, and it does shake a little bit when it goes over the points, especially on the bends. But no, it's a very, very smooth runner. Now to finalise this review, I am going to make the model go as fast as it can on the layout, without it actually flying off. It can go very, very fast. This is only at about 11 o'clock, and it's just at cruising speed. But if you can see it at maximum speed, you better have really smooth curves on your layout so I'd advise caution if you're going to try and test it at full speed these are third radius curves and um, we're going to get a lot of flange squeal when it's going around those bends so I hope you enjoyed the review please give me feedback on how to improve I somehow feel that I have done not very good in this review so some positive feedback would be nice thank you very much for watching please don't forget to rate, comment and of course subscribe